Uh, hello, Dung. Can you hear me? Hi. Okay. Yes. Sorry for waiting for me for almost two minutes. Okay. I just got from the toilet. Okay. Okay. So, how are you? I'm fine. Okay, good. That's that's nice to know that you're doing fine. And how's the weather there? Uh, it is sunny. Oh, sunny. That's good. And it did not rain for the past days. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's great. That's nice. And what did you do for the for sunny day? I just stay at home and sometimes I go to the swimming pool. Ah, at least you can swim. Is there a swimming pool nearby? Yes. Uh, there is a swimming pool. Like we are in a apartment and mm -hmm. there is also a swimming pool there. Ah, like it's you're like living in a condo like that, an apartment building, and there's a pool yes. in the middle like that. Yes. Oh, I see, I see. That's good. At least you have something to do, right? When it's hot. Right, so good. Um, doing, we're going to continue our lesson and we're going to have listening, okay? So I'm going to be sharing my screen. Can you see my screen? Yes, I can. Okay, so let's start. Can you hear the sound? Yes. Okay, good. So the same thing about listening, you have some choices here, definitely. And you have to uh, choose the correct answer. Okay, let's try to read some vocabulary here. Soft. Soft. Light. Light. Okay. Back ache. Back ache. Band. Band. Travel agents. Travel agents. Okay, good. Can you read the meaning of the words? Uh, soft changing step easily when pressed. Not stiff or thin. Firm. You read that firm. 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 Okay, good. Next, light. 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 Easy to leave or remove. Not remove not or work. move. Move. Only move, <coughs> not remove. Or move. Move. Okay, good. Not weighing very much. Not weighing very much. <coughs> not weighing very much. Okay, good. Bike cake. A continuous pain in the bike. Okay, good. Next. Ban a small group of musicians. Not music. Who play musicians. Musicians. Okay, good. Who play popular music together. Often, uh, often with a singer or singers. Very good. Next, travel agents. Travel agents. A shop or store where you can go to arrange a holiday or vacation very good okay so yes. we're going to do this part okay so let's answer this one okay okay now we are ready to start look at question one One. When did Gary start his new job? Hello, Gary. I haven't seen you since March. That. May. I left my last job in April. So can I hear it again? Because I when when the it is running, I just see the like the. Photo. Only the photo. I see, I see. Let's listen one more time. Oh, what happened? It's not.
You will hear five short conversations. You will hear each conversation twice. There is one question for each conversation. The questions one to five put a tick under the right answer. Here is an example. How many people were at the meeting? Were there many people at the meeting? About 30. That's not many. No, but more than last time. The answer is 30. So there is a tick in box C. Now we are ready to start. Look at question one. One. When did Gary start his new job? Hello, Gary. I haven't seen you since March. Hi, Jane. No, I've been busy with my new job. Really? When did you start that? May. I left my last job in April. Oh, teacher, teacher. I think we have finished it. Now listen again. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking to earlier. Because it should be get three, not test one. Just a second, I will go into check again. Okay. Just a second, please. It should be get three, test three. Sorry, this is test one. Okay, uh, this is the test. Sorry, uh, earlier it should be test three. I took the test one. So we're going to continue here. Okay, can I read the following words? Postcard. Postcard. Lemonade. Lemonade. Beginner. Beginner. Entrance. Entrance. Shopping center. Shopping center. Okay, good. So now let's continue. Okay. Let's start. You will hear five short conversations. You will hear each conversation twice. There is one question for each conversation. The questions one to five put a tick under the right answer. Here is an example. How many people were at the meeting? Were there many people at the meeting? In box C. Now we are ready to start. Look at question one. One, when will they go on holiday? Do you want to come on holiday with me in the summer? Sure, I can go in June, July or September. Well, June will be best for me. July's too hot and I have to work in September. Okay, where shall we go? Now listen again. Do you want to come on holiday with me in the summer? Sure, 
Oh, he can go in June, July or September. Well, June will be best for me. July's too hot and I have to work in September. Okay. Where shall we go? Two. How is Patty going to travel? I'm going to go to Vienna on Saturday. How long does it take to fly there, Patty? Oh, I'm going to drive. Oh, yes. You get ill on planes, don't you? Yes. And trains. Now listen again. I'm going to go to Vienna on Saturday. How long does it take to fly there, Patty? Oh, I'm going to drive. Oh, yes. You get ill on planes, don't you? Yes. And trains. Three. What will Sam do? You must phone me while you're on holiday, Sam. Telephoning's too expensive. I'll send you a postcard from the campsite. But I want to know you're all right. Can't you send me a letter? I won't have time for writing letters. Now listen again. You must phone me while you're on holiday, Sam. Telephoning's too expensive. I'll send you a postcard from the campsite. But I want to know you're all right. Can't you send me a letter? I won't have time for writing letters. Four. What was the weather like in Portugal? What was the weather like in Portugal, Debbie? It was cloudy every day, but it didn't rain. Really? It was lovely and sunny on our holiday in Spain. Yes, but we were in the north of Portugal, and it's different there. Now listen again. What was the weather like in Portugal, Debbie? It was cloudy every day, but it didn't rain. Really? It was lovely and sunny on our holiday in Spain. Yes, but we were in the north of Portugal, and it's different there. Five. What has the girl broken? Be careful, Mum. There are some pieces of glass on the floor. Well, you haven't broken that nice picture, have you? It's all right. The lemonade bottle fell on the floor. Oh, well, at least it was empty. Now listen again. Be careful, Mum. There are some pieces of glass on the floor. Well, you haven't broken that nice picture, have you? It's all right. The lemonade bottle fell on the floor. Oh, well, at least it was empty. This is the end of part one. All right. Okay, then, are you finished with your answers? Yes, I'm finished. Okay, good. Can you share your answers now? Can you read number one? Number one, when will they go, in, go on holiday? Okay. Uh, a, June. Okay, why they choose June? They think because, it's June? Are you sure June? Yes, mm -hmm. because they say that June will be the best because July is too hot and September, they, he must to go to work. Oh, why? Well, it's that see immediately. Okay, so now let's go to number two. Let's go into check number one later. Number two. Number two because I choose C because they say uh, the boy says that how long is the flight? So the girl say that I'm right driving. Okay, I'm driving. And where is the girl going? Can you still remember the place? Uh, I think no. She's going to Vienna. Okay, Vienna. What if I don't know what is uh, where is Vienna? Okay, Vienna is a city in Europe. Okay, so you can check. Yes. Let me share a screen so you can.
see my screen, right? Yes. It's capital of Austria in Europe. Yes. This is Vienna. It is yes. also the capital of music. Okay, classical music, capital of classical music. Vienna. Okay. You're going back. Yeah, correct with letter C, number three. Number three, what will Sam do? Yes. Uh, B. What's that? Uh, he will write a postcard. Okay. And initially, the woman is asking for a... He's at, she's asking for a telephone, but it is too expensive. For a telephone call. <laughs> she's not asking for a tele... She's asking for a telephone call. Okay? Yes. And when the man said that he doesn't have money to write, uh, to call in a telephone, what did the woman ask for another time? Uh, she said that he must to write the letter, but he don't have time. That's right. So he said that he write me a letter. Of course, I don't have time. Good. Number four. Number four. What was the time as a weather was like the weather? in Portugal? Okay. What was the weather like in Portugal? All right. Uh, I think that is A. Okay, what is that? Uh, it is cloudy, but, but there is no rain. Hey, that's good. All right, number five. Number five. What has the girl broken? Uh, she right. broke the she broke the lemonade bottle. Okay, what happened? As uh, the she said with mom that the picture was broken and the and the bottle lemonade fell over. Okay, good. So now let's try to check out. Okay, good. That's the other B. Good job, good job. Okay, now we're going to answer six to ten. We're going to listen to Patrick. Can you read the instruction? Listen to Patrick. Listen to Patrick talking to his mother about a photo of his old fr school friends. What is each person wearing for questions six to 10? Write a letter A to H next to each person. Do you, do you will hear the conversation twice? Okay, uh, we don't need to talk about this vocabulary, so just listen carefully, okay? Let's start. Yes. Start. Now look at part two. Listen to Patrick talking to his mother about a photo of his old school friends. What is each person wearing? For questions six to ten, write a letter A to H next to each person. <coughs> you will hear the conversation twice. How was the party with your old school friends, Patrick? Great, Mother. We've changed a lot since 1990. Look at this photo. <laughs> was Peter there? Yes. This is him in a sports jacket. Oh, yes. And does Martin still wear a T-shirt and dirty jeans? Well, he's a businessman now, so he can't be dirty. But he was wearing jeans. Look. Oh, yes. And is this person with the long coat Joanna? It's like her, isn't it? But Joanna's standing next to Amy and wearing a red sweater. Is that Amy? I can't believe it. She's so thin. 
That black dress doesn't look very good on her. Mm, she's been ill. That man in the big hat is her husband, James. Oh. Isn't that Robert? No. See the man in the red T-shirt with the blue trousers? That's Robert. Oh, how people change. Now listen again. How was the party with your old school friends, Patrick? Great, Mother. We've changed a lot since 1990. Look at this photo. <laughs> was Peter there? Yes. This is him in a sports jacket. Oh, yes. And does Martin still wear a T-shirt and dirty jeans? Well, he's a businessman now, so he can't be dirty. But he was wearing jeans. Look. Oh, yes. And is this person with the long coat Joanna? It's like her, isn't it? But Joanna's standing next to Amy and wearing a red sweater. Is that Amy? I can't believe it. She's so thin. That black dress doesn't look very good on her. Mm, she's been ill. That man in the big hat is her husband, James. Oh. Isn't that Robert? No. See the man in the red T-shirt with the blue trousers? That's Robert. Oh, how people change. This is the end of part two. All right. Do I suppose you're finished? Yes, I'm finished. Okay, good. So, <coughs> can you tell us who are talking? Uh. That is. Uh, I can remember, but I... Patrick, right? They're talking to Patrick. I just Patrick. talking to his mother. Okay. All right. Anyway, so let's start. So Peter is wearing a. Peter is wearing a sport jacket. Okay, good. Then they continue. Can you can you explain to me your answers and some information after Peter? Uh, Peter is wearing a sport jacket. Okay. And, and Martin is wearing a dirty jeans. He is a businessman. He is wearing a dirty jeans? Dirty jeans? Okay. He is no longer wearing. Okay, you have to take note. He yes. is no longer wearing dirty jeans because he's a businessman, so he has to wear something clean. Okay, do? Yes. Okay, okay. Good. Now, next, Joanna. Joanna, he is. Joanna is wearing a sweater. Okay, sweater. So, let her she Good job. Next, Amy. Amy is. Next to Joanna, and she's wear a dress. Okay, very good. And next, James. James is the boy with a hat. C. Okay. Okay, good. And last, Robert. And Robert wear red trousers and blue, uh, red t-shirt and blue trousers. Red T-shirt and blue trousers. So your answer H. is H. H. Very good. Nice one, Dun. Good job. Good job. All right. Give me another high five. Give me a high five. All right. Nice one. So let's try to read the script. Okay. I will be the mother first, and you'll be Patrick. Okay. 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 How was the party with your old school friends, Patrick? Great mother. We've changed a lot since. 1990. Look at this photo. Was Peter there? Yes. This is him in a sports jacket. Oh, yes. And does Martin still wear a t shirt and dirty jeans? Well, he's a businessman now. So he can't be dirty. But he was wearing jeans. Look. Oh, yes. And is this person with a long coat, Joanna? 
is like her, isn't it? But Joanna standing next to Amy and wearing a red sweater. Is that Amy? I can't believe it. She's so thin. That black dress doesn't look very good on her. She has, she has been ill. She's been ill. She's been ill. That man in the big hat is her husband, James. Oh, is that Robert? No, she's the man in the red t-shirt with the blue trousers. That's Robert. How people change. Okay, your turn. Uh, how was the party in your old in school? your, not in, with you. With your old school friends, Patrick. Great, mother. We've changed a lot since 1990. Look at this photo. Was Peter there? Yes, this is him in a sports jacket. Oh, yes. And does Martin still wear a t-shirt and dirty jeans? Well, he's a businessman now, so he can't be dirty. But he was wearing jeans. Look. Oh, yes. And is, uh, and is, this, is person? this person with the long coat, Joanna? It's like her, isn't it? But Joanna is standing next to Amy and wearing a red sweater. Is that Amy? I can't believe it. She's so thin. That black dress doesn't look very good on her. She's been ill. That man in the big hat is her husband, James. Oh, is that Robert? No. See the man in the red t-shirt with the blue trousers? That's Robert. How people change. Okay, good. Nice one. Now, can you read again the instruction here, do? What? Can you say it again? Or uh, kindly read the instructions here. Listen to. Listen to Jenny asking Mark about school holiday activities. For questions 11 to 15, take A, B, or C. You will hear the conversation right twice. Okay, so let's start. Now listen to the conversation. Hello, Jenny. What are you doing here? Mark, hello. This is my daughter, Sarah. Ah, oh, it's the school holiday, so we're shopping now. <laughs> we're not sure what to do after that. Well, there's a show for children this afternoon in the library where I work. Oh, what? Okay, so the answer here is the library. Okay, now let's listen to this conversation. Okay, let's start. Now listen to the conversation. Hello, Jenny. What are you doing here? Mark, hello. This is my daughter, Sarah. Oh, it's the school holiday, so we're shopping now. <laughs> we're not sure what to do after that. Well, there's a show for children this afternoon in the library where I work. Oh, what time is the show? It starts at 2 and finishes at 3.30. It's only quarter past one now. What about that? How much is a ticket? Well, it's £1.50 for adults and 75 pence for children. Programmes are 25 pence. And does your library do a reading course in the holidays? Yes. And if children under 10, like Sarah, read four books in six weeks, we give them something to take home. What? Like a book? Well, this year it's a pen, but sometimes it's a book or a school bag. Meet me after the show and I'll tell you what to do. Oh, thanks. See you later then. Now 
Now listen again. Hello, Jenny. What are you doing here? Mark, hello. This is my daughter, Sarah. Oh, it's the school holiday, so we're shopping now. <laughs> we're not sure what to do after that. Well, there's a show for children this afternoon in the library where I work. Oh, what time is the show? It starts at 2 and finishes at 3.30. It's only quarter past one now. What about that? How much is a ticket? Well, it's £1.50 for adults and 75 pence for children. Programmes are 25 pence. And does your library do a reading course in the holidays? Yes. And if children under 10, like Sarah, read four books in six weeks, we give them something to take home. What? Like a book? Well, this year it's a pen, but sometimes it's a book or a school bag. Meet me after the show and I'll tell you what to do. Thanks. See you later then. All right. Then this is the end of part three. Thank you, lady. It's time for us to answer. Uh, the show begins at 2, 2 p.m. Okay, so it begins at 2 p.m. And it is close at 3.30. Okay. A child's... Yes. Okay, so a child's ticket costs at how much? A, child, how much? a child's ticket costs 75 pounds a pence. Okay, 75 pence, very good. And at the adult ticket? As the adult ticket is one pound fifty. Okay, it's one pound fifty. Next, number 13. The holiday reading cost is for six weeks. Okay, good. This this year from the library, children can win a pen. Okay, they can win a pen. Good job. Jenny should meet Mark again today. Okay, because it will be later after the show, right? Okay, good job. Nice yes. one. Give me a high five, all right? Nice one. Okay, so let's read the script here. Just a second, I need to charge my laptop. All right, so let us try to read this. Uh, you will be Mark and I'll be Jenny. Let's start. Start doing. Hello, Jenny. What are you doing there? Here. That's not there. I hear. Okay. Mark, hello. This is my daughter, Sarah. It's the school holiday, so we're shopping now. We're not sure what to do after that. Well, there is a show for children this afternoon in the library where I work. Oh. What time is the show? It starts at 2 and finish at 3.30. Finishes at 3.30. Finishes at 3.30. You're not yet finished. Ah, it's only quarter past one now. What about that? How much is the ticket? Well, it's one pound fifty for adults and seventy five penny pence for children. Okay. Programs are twenty five pence. And does your library do a reading course in the holidays? Yes. And if children under ten like Sarah read four books in six weeks. We give them something to take home. What? Like a book? Well, this year is a pen, but sometimes it's a book or school bag. 
meet me after the show and I will tell you what to do. Thanks. See you later then. Okay, good. Um, you can read the other one, other way. Hello, Jenny. What are you doing here? Mark, hello. Z this is my daughter, Sarah. Is the school holidays, so we are shopping now. We're shopping now. We're shopping now. We're not sure what to do after that. Well, there's a show for children this afternoon in the library where I work. Oh, what time is the show? It starts at 2 and finishes at 3.30. It's only quarter past 1 now. What about that? How much is a ticket? Well, it's £1.50 for adults and 75 pence for children. Programs are 25 pence. And does your library do a reading course in the holidays? Yes, and if children under 10 like Sarah read four books in six weeks, we give them something to take home. What? Like a book? Not what? Because you're very surprised. What? Like a book? Okay. Okay. So, so you don't put so much stress with what? <laughs> so it's like what? Yes. Like a book? So just a little uh, surprise. Okay, can you say that what? again? What? Like a book? Well, this here's it's a pen, but sometimes it's a book or a school bag. Meet me after the show and I'll tell you what to do. Thanks. See you later then. Okay, good. Here, let's try to have this. We can still answer one more. Okay, 16 to 20. Okay, let's listen immediately. So guitar lessons for Judy. So let's start. Now look at part four. You will hear Judy asking about music lessons. Listen and complete questions 16 to 20. You will hear the conversation twice. Good morning, Central School of Music. Good morning. My name's Judy Black. I'd like some information about guitar lessons, please. Are you a beginner? Yes. I've never played the guitar before. Then you'll want a beginner's class. There's one on Wednesday evening and another on Tuesday morning. I work during the day, so I'd like the evening class. It begins at half past seven, and it's a two-hour class. Oh, that will be fine for me. Uh, can you tell me how much I have to pay? Each lesson costs £5.50. That's £55 for a course of ten lessons. That's not bad, but I haven't got a guitar. Does it matter? No. The school can lend you one. Oh, good. And can you tell me the name of the teacher? It's Mrs. Capel. That's C-A-P-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Right. What room will my lesson be in? Classroom number 328 on the third floor. Great. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. You're going now to listen, listen again. Time. Good morning, Central School of Music. Good morning. My name's Judy Black. I'd like some information about guitar lessons, please. Are you a beginner? Yes. I've never played the guitar before. Then you'll want a beginner's class. There's one on Wednesday evening and another on Tuesday morning. I work during the day, so I'd like the evening class. It begins at half past seven, and it's a two-hour class. Oh, that will be fine for me. Uh, can you tell me how much I have to pay? Each lesson costs £5.50. That's £55 for a course of ten lessons. That's not bad, but I haven't got a guitar. Does it matter? No, the school can lend you one. Oh, good. 
And can you tell me the name of the teacher? It's Mrs. Capel. That's C A P E double L E. Right. What room will my lesson be in? Classroom number three hundred and twenty-eight on the third floor. Great. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. All right, do let's start. This is the end of part four. The class is beginners. Okay, for beginners. They, okay. Yes. There is two times as Monday in the morning, Monday morning or Wednesday evening, but the girl choose um, Wednesday evening because she must. Okay. Now look at part four. Yes. Okay, good. Next, and starting time? It starts at 7.30. 30. Okay, very good. Half past seven. You will hear Judy asking about... Okay, next. Price of each lesson is 5.50. Okay, 5.50. And how many lessons? There's 10 lessons for 50 pounds. Okay. 50 pounds or 55 pounds? 50, 50, 50 pounds, uh, 55 pounds. For 10 lessons, good. And what is the name of the teacher? It is K-A-P-L-L-E. -L -L -E. C -A -P -L -L -E. Okay, C, not key. Okay, C. All right, and what's the room number? Is 378. 378. Okay, it's actually 328. Okay, so it's a little far from 2 and 7. Okay. Okay, do yes. almost perfect here, but no, no thing. Uh, that's still a good job. Okay, we're just going to continue this one tomorrow. Okay, so do you have any questions? Okay. No. All right. So let us see each other again tomorrow. And bye-bye now and have a great day. But why I can't see your camera? It is like, oh. Really? Yes, I can see that. You are open the camera, but I don't see. Me? You don't see I can just see me. I ah, just see okay. me. And you try yes. to adjust in your Zoom <laughs> because I don't really close my camera. It's open. <laughs> yeah. 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 Sometimes Zoom is doing something else. Sometimes it's hard to understand. Okay. So see each other again tomorrow. Doing good night. Oh, good night now. I mean, sorry. Goodbye and have a great day. Okay. Bye. Bye.